Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video and today we are going back to the Pocket in Pocket Infinity. Wrong game, that's a fusion rifle from Destiny 1. We're going to the Infinity Pistol, right? So, obviously the uh, Infinity Pistol uh, is, you know, believe it or not, it doesn't ever have to reload. Uh, obviously, this gun was in Borderlands 2. Uh, I feel like it was way better in that game than it was in this game. Uh, at least for a long time, that is. Uh, this gun did recently get a pretty big buff, uh, which is, you know, pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, because, yeah, I mean, let's be real here, dude. I don't know hardly anybody that used uh, an Infinity Pistol uh, because, like, the thing was literally a, a pea shooter. It was an infinite pea shooter pistol. That's really what this thing fucking was. Look at it. Uh, this one got, like, the, the damage used to not even be, like, over, like, I think it was, like, roughly 4K or something. It's just, it's just so minuscule. We had one of our mods, uh, the homie Chris Lively, uh, have a challenge for us to clear it with a Guardian takedown, and uh, we tried, and uh, I utterly failed terribly. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, dude, I only have the Terra one, so we are going to be uh, applying Terra to ourselves today. You know, uh, since we are going to apply terror to ourselves, let's use our Vindicator. <laughs> um, and then uh, we're going to use a stack bot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, mainly because it's got pistol and crit damage. Um, we don't really have... No, we really don't have any other option, honestly. Uh, stack bot will be fine. Stack bot will do it. Uh, and then, yeah, you know that can set kits. Obviously, this is one of the very f f few rare... Um, weapons where a uh, mag size pearl will be useless wow what weapon reload speed and weapon mag si and mag size bro literally a pearl is just here for its uh its actual perk not the passes because this is an infinity pistol <laughs> uh here's our hunter tree we are going to be getting two fang uh obviously you know what i'm saying uh single projectile uh actually i can totally respect this because since this is since this is an infinity pistol we can do a little bit more uh, with our trees because we don't know, we don't need to go anywhere into leave no trace. We don't need to go anywhere into second intention, which are perks that we generally expect at least five points into. So we can do something like this, uh, max out that. Uh, we might actually have, wind up putting some points into Grim Harvest, dude, just so we can get down to Megabore. Yeah, because I mean, there's no point to go into things like uh, leave no trace or second intention because we're never gonna reload it to Infinity Pistol. Do something like this. Uh, and then we'll go, oops, oh, great, thanks, 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 PS4 lag for being a potato and uh, causing me to have to respect because that wasted skill point. Uh, guys, one thing about this gun, uh, if y'all want to farm for it, uh, the anointed alpha over on the anvil is, a, is the a dedicated drop, but uh, homie really, homie does not uh, feel like he's that uh, generous when it comes to dropping this thing. So I, I would definitely just go farm like Slaughter Chef or something for a uh, world drop for the infinity pistol at least in my opinion but yeah other than that though um i think we got most of our stuff ready to go we got our setup uh just about done over here definitely want to get them frenzies something like that and you know what dude that'll be fine fuck grim harvest <laughs> Obviously, we don't need to overclock because we're never going to reload. And, uh, yeah, we'll do something like that. We'll go... We'll probably use mostly three-shot fadeaway for the most of this video. And, uh, yeah, guys. With all of that being said... Oh, watch me uh, respect it to the setup on screen. Let's go ahead, see what this motherfucker can do. And let's hop right into the video, boys. All right, sexy. So, we are over here. Uh, I'm. <laughs> we're at the Guardian Takedown. Now, we only got the Terror one. So, uh, I'm going to try and go in and out of our fadeaway a little bit. And then, you know, our Vindicator will do some massive work. Uh, I'm definitely going to need to get some assistance from our boy there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, at least warning with this anointment, this will eliminate the need for the cryo ASCs. And, uh... Ah, uh, this thing still feels like a potato. <laughs> uh, dude, I, re I did a showcase on this way back in Mayhem 3. I think this might have been, like... Either the like third, fourth, or fifth showcase that we did on the channel, and uh, yeah, dude. To say the least, uh, we've come a long way since then. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, dude. Uh, this thing kind of feels like a bit of a potato, still. Now we only have. Oh, we damn, dude. Damn, we need to put ASCs on this thing, bro. I don't want to. I can't really use the vindicator because we you don't. We, you can't get an anointed vindicator, so like. 
We're losing out a lot of damage if I don't have any ACs, bro. That is true. That is, that is, this is the thing. So, uh, where's our sexy radiation? Yeah, we'll at least be able to get radiation in cryo ACs. That's actually, yeah, let's put on a pet. That might be useful. I still be forgetting to do that shit, bro. I swear to God. Can I, uh, actually switch over to Grills in the Mist now that we have our cryo? We're gonna do that. We're gonna go, we're gonna put on Grills in the Mist. Uh, see if we can get like some like more damage or something out of this thing, dude. I don't know. Fuck it. I mean, we got infinite bullets. Might as well just you know hold on the trigger. <laughs> you know, it doesn't feel as much of a potato when we're inside of GMT or Grills in the Mist. G I N T. -T Grills in the G I T M. I don't know why I said GMT, bro. I'm tripping. <laughs> So, you know, uh, I hope everybody, you know, uh, is having a good day. I ain't going to cap. I'm kind of uh, out of ideas to talk about right now. Um, mostly, in a lot of videos, i just been talking about how hype we are for uh, Beyond Light and the Borderlands video. And then how we're talking about, like, you know, uh, the new arms race game mode. We talked about uh, some of the new comms and stuff like that. The new seeing dead, new seeing dead comm, the new Zane comm is, like, actually cracked out. Honestly, dude, I feel like most of the new uh, new comms are, like, actually cracked out. Uh, the ones that you see for arm race and stuff like that. Uh, arm race will definitely be a fun experience for us to try. We'll, we'll definitely play a little bit of it uh, on the 10th when it drops and stuff like that. But we are going to be focusing most of our attention on uh, Destiny that day. Just because, you know, boy, oh boy, am I excited for that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys. We're putting in uh, some massive work. I mean, this thing is definitely way better than it once was, dude. Whenever we initially attempted the uh, the Guardian takedown Infinity, uh, Infinity Pistol only challenge, uh, we were literally doing nothing. We were literally shooting, like, Pete's at a brick wall, and they were literally just laughing at us and our futility uh, and our Infinity Pistol. So, uh, I mean, yeah, this is definitely a bit of, uh, it's definitely an improvement for sure, for sure. Uh, I feel like this thing would be really, really good with Zane. Um, especially whenever, uh, with those new skill trees come out. Oh, man, I think this thing will be a beast on Zane. Uh, hello? He's squirting. <laughs> uh, let's go back into Girls in the Mist. Uh, yeah, dude, I feel like we've done en enough, uh, over here. I mean, like, you were, we're chewing him down in Girls in the Mist. I feel like we'll, like, okay, we're gonna go to the Malawan takedown now, guys. And I definitely feel like we'll definitely show, uh, that this thing will be a little bit better over there. Just because those enemies aren't nearly as tanky as, you know, the Guardian takedown enemies are. But, you know, that's just, that is why we always come over here to the Guardian takedown. Just because, you know, what we can show against some of the tankier enemies in the game. And, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, let's go ahead, head right on over to the Malawan takedown. All right, homies. So we're over here in the uh, Malawan takedown side of things. Our new Athenus, basically. <laughs> okay, Drill Spectre. Uh, let's see what you got, homie. I get some weaker enemies. Less competition. Uh, I honestly, bro. Dude, I think I'm... Dude, call me crazy, but I'm thinking about doing a video on, like, top... Like, ranking all the elements and shit from, like, least favorite to favorite and stuff like that. Uh, let me know what y'all think about that, dude. Uh, I think that'd be a, a cool idea for a video. Um, okay, look, bro, look, look, look at this thing, look at it, like, it's doing some work, man, you know, we got that cryo and shock always up, and then we go in the, uh, fade away, yeah, honestly, bro, I know I like to cycle my ASCs like a motherfucker, but there is no way, uh, we can roll, we can really do that with this thing, bro, I think that, at least, at least if I'm using this puppy on flak, uh, having gorillas in the mist is definitely gonna be the way, bro, just because we, we're gonna get that extra damage a lot being inside of fadeaway, uh, a lot more consistently, at least with this gun, and then we'll still be able to, uh, at least, have, uh, go in and out of her tear, or not go in and out, but just have our tear up at all times and stuff, so we'll actually be able to have our cryo up, which is really good against armored enemies for show, for show, and then obviously, you know, when we get to the Wotan, Smoketown area, we will 100% be, uh, switching over to, uh, corrosive, uh, instead of radiation, uh, because, you know, Botan resist radiation and cryo. <laughs> All right, let's go back into make. Oh crud! Yeah, I wasted that gorilla's in the mist, dude. All right, let's shoot the uh, the cracking in for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's respectable damage. You know, uh, the infinity was way more of a potato uh, <laughs> before this buff, man. This like the buff on this thing was definitely uh, needed for sure for this. Game. You know, I I'm always a big advocate, and you know, just. The more guns in this game that are good and can do in-game content, the better. Because this game is literally all about the guns and the loot, right? It's a looter shooter with literally over a billion guns. So having as many guns in this game that can do in-game content, the better. Oh, yeah. 
Infinity, I see you, fam. I see you. You're not nearly as terrible as you used to be. And it's great, man. It's nice. It's nice. Now, oh, you fucking. How the hell do you see me? I was, in, I was Mick Invisible. <laughs> Yo, so I ain't gonna cap, fam. Like, this gun used to be a complete useless, like, literally useless, like, like, bottom tier. Now, there's no way in hell I'm gonna put this thing in, like, the top, top tier or anything, but, like, it's definitely way, like, way improved. Way more improved, which is awesome. All right, y'all, we are over here at the bridge. All right, good old bridge, man. You, you gotta love it, man. You gotta love the bridge, you know what I'm saying? I love using the bridge for, like, showcases and stuff like that. All that good jazz, dude. Look at our little infinity pistol, bro. Putting in that work, fam. I love it. You love to see it. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Sit down. Your face? Guess what? Sit the fuck down, homie. Guess what? You too? Guess what, bitch? Give me just a second. Give me just a second. Sit down! <laughs> You're right. You suck. That's fair. Guess what? Guess what, bitch? Sit down. You're dead. Yeah, Girls in the Mist is definitely the way to go with the infinity pistol. You'll never reload. You'll always have the uptime, so... Yeah, totally worth it uh, going with Girls in the Mist in here. Uh, even if we can't, like, cycle our ASCs as fast, let's go back into Girls in the Mist. Let's not stay out of Fadeaway. Let's literally live inside of Fadeaway, bro. Invis for life, you know what I'm saying? Although enemies can still be seeing my bitch ass, which be a little confusing sometimes, you know what I'm saying, homie? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, you fucking South Commando, you bastard. No one likes you. You're Sit down. You're dead. No one likes you. And Jetpack Commando, I'm going to kill you before you even fly because you're dead. Yep, 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 ghost, you're dead. I missed, or whatever, who cares? <laughs> Guys, I hope everyone's having a great day, or night, whenever the fuck you're watching this. Uh, about a w little over a week away from uh, Beyond Light. Really cannot wait for that stuff, dude. Really cannot wait, bro. I'm going to be playing so much Destiny. I'm just trying to let you know. Bro, tell me this ain't annoying. Whenever y'all have an itch that you can't scratch, like, let's say you have an itch on your nose, but, like, both your hands are tied with a task you're doing at the moment... Like, you're, let's say you're carrying a bunch of shit to a door, and uh, your nose gets, like, the super mega itch. Like, right in between, like, the right on the inside right of your left nostril. I think that's the worst spot to get the, uh, the, un the unscratchable itch. You know what I'm saying, bro? I know that might be totally random to talk about, but I'm like, yo, I have that itch right fucking now, but I'm playing BO3 and I can't scratch it. I'll do it in between cuts, but, like, bro, I, I figured I could just, like, you know, but, yo. I'm pretty sure my homies know know what that know what it's like to have the unitchable itch, or the unscratchable itch, <laughs> because God, that should be annoying as hell, bro. I swear to God, this thing is for real though. Put in just a massive work. Uh, anyways, guys, though, let's go ahead head on over to the Woke Ton Smoke Ton Smackdown, and I'll see y'all over there. All right, fam, we're over here at the Woke Ton Smoke Ton Smackdown. And yeah, dude, where you got? Uh, I did went ahead and switch over our our corrosive ASE. Uh, so that whenever we do come out of fade away, we at least have uh, some corrosive damage, you know, which is always pretty nice. Go ahead, chew up uh, Wotan, sorry ass, you know what I'm saying? Good old Wotan, our buddy, old pal. Yeah, we love him, we love him, we love him. He's, he's always so kind to us, letting us fucking kill him for every showcase video ever that we ever do. It's great, it's awesome, man. Wotan, you're too much of a pal, buddy, you know that? Sometimes he can be a little bit of a troll, but, you know, it's all good. It's part of Wotan. Look at him. Look at his ugly face, bro. <laughs> he, he's a McDonald's Happy Meal toy. He's so... <laughs> That's what he looks like, bro. He looks like he's made of plastic. Bruh. You know, I ain't gonna, be, I ain't gonna cap. As a kid, I always thought the Happy Meals were kind of lame. I was like, bro, I only get four chicken nuggets and a Dixie side of fucking fries? Nah, fam. I want... 10 McNuggets, and I want a large fry. This is Cree being like 10 years old, bro. I, every, whenever I was stuck at McDonald's, I'd be like, Mama, Mama, come on. Just, just, come on. Give me the McNuggets. Give me two McNuggets and, and large fries, please. You know, dude, there's no kid out there that does not like chicken nuggets and fries. Like, tell me, like, you can't tell me otherwise, man. What kid doesn't like chicken nuggets and fries? <laughs> I, I'm telling you, fam. Although, uh, I really do not ever really be eating Big Macs like that, fam. Big Macs, bro, like, they're so good, but, like, bro, they're so terrible for you. I heard, like, this crazy stat that, like, if you were to eat a Big Mac, the the amount of running you'd have to, like, the amount of cardio you'd have to do just to burn it off would literally, like, if you were to run, like, I think, like, let's just say a casual jog, like, five miles an hour. I think it was some shit, like, it would literally take seven to eight hours to burn off all the calories from a Big Mac if you did that. 
Now, obviously, you could do higher uh, velocity, uh, like higher intense cardio training, uh, stuff like that. But you know, if you're just doing a, ca if you're like a casual, I don't know, casual American, you know, what I'm saying you'd have, yeah, most casual Americans don't really exercise on the daily. Uh, so yeah, bro, I, I don't really be eating Big Macs. I don't even know why the fuck we're talking about Big Macs on a Borderlands video, but you know what I'm saying. I, a lot of these showcase videos, bro. Sometimes, bro, I, like we're using the weapon. I've talked about the weapon for a good amount, and then we just I just start like rambling about whatever the fuck's on my mind, like the random nose itch like, from earlier in the video, bro. I don't know. <laughs> it just be like that, you know what I'm saying, fam. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and take a quick look at our setup. I ain't gonna cap, dude. I think this thing uh, performed a little bit better uh, than than I initially anticipated, which is pretty awesome. Uh, this thing was actually melting some of uh, the badass war dogs relatively fast and yeah obviously you know not having to worry about reloading and shit like that it's obviously very very nice making gorillas in the mist a very very good uh augment for fadeaway when using this thing gun on flag if you were going to use this gun on flag dude definitely use gorillas in the mist bro this thing was putting in some fucking work uh so here's our our shield that we use our terror shield that's because uh, we have a terror one, and while we are terrified, we get that bonus cryo, so we are easily able to do a lot of damage to things like the war dogs, like the death spears, and like the krakens. Obviously, Wotan's an exception uh, because he is eating, uh, not immune, but he's heavily resist cryo damage. So that is why uh, we did switch from radiation to the uh, corrosive ASC on our mitosis hunter seekers, which obviously these days do a shit ton of damage, which is awesome. Uh, and then our pearl, which literally was only there just for the uh, the consec hits that it provides, which is very nice. Our stack bot with pistol damage and weapon crit damage which is very nice impact tactics into an hunter's eye also that uh seven and hunter's eye really helped in the uh, malawan takedown uh, because these were uh armored enemies which is uh very 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 nice and then uh, let's actually go ahead and look at our actual setup if my voice sounds dead dude uh when i was at work yesterday i worked a 12-hour shift yesterday uh <laughs> there's a, a shit ton of saints fans bro and because my packers lost i was like yo i really need those saints to win so the bears can lose and i was getting really into it cheering with the hoodats although i'm not a big saints fan i was only cheering in the benefit of my packers okay all right <laughs> i'm not no fucking bandwagon fan homie <laughs> um oh yeah here's our setup you know what i'm saying that hidden machine was you know what i'm saying hidden machine uh, i mean we're not gonna get overclocked dude this thing never reloads uh and then yeah the, other than that this is a standard stock retreat for fadeaway uh, then obviously we don't need lethal trace or second intention because uh, we're never gonna ever ever need to replenish ammo or reload this gun uh and then obviously ambush predator is a complete utter joke so we ever never even touch that thing not even with the 10-foot pole because it's worthless two fame because we can double our damage with uh like about every other shot or so oh, about every three to four shots we can uh double our damage which is very very nice big game was dangerous game obviously duh black shadow megavar duh uh, and then this is like kind of like a standard blue tree we've been running a lot recently with at least one in the hive mind, four in the frenzy, and then a bunch of uh, these other perks. And I've always loved Persistence Hunter. But yeah, guys, that is going to just about wrap up the video. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, then make sure to drop your load on that like button and subscribe if you are new. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. So if y'all like Daily Borderlands 3, then make sure to subscribe, guys, because that is what we do here on the channel. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. My name's Cree, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.